hello guys and welcome to this new power bi tutorial in this video i'm going to create the following dashboard using friends data set in this tutorial we are going to learn how to import data from a web application where we can modify data dynamically and get results directly on power bi we are going to learn how to convert google sheet into a web application and we are going to modify the data directly on Google Sheet and get the results in Power BI. For example, if you are working with a team and you are sharing the same data set, so instead of modifying, for example, the Excel file and uploading it again into Power BI, we are going to use directly Google Sheet and connect it to Power BI in order to modify data dynamically. Now, the first thing that we are going to do is that we are going to download the data set so you can go to this link that you can find in the description and download the friends data set once you have uploaded the data set you can open it in excel and you select everything we copy and we create new google sheet so we paste everything in here all right we can name it friends And same thing for the sheet okay now to convert that into web api we are going to use a code and same thing you can find the link to download the code in description and we copy the code so we go to extensions apps script so here we have a new project we can name it friends So what we are going to do is that we are going to copy the code within the text file and paste it in here. Once you paste it, you need to save it. And once you save it, you need to run the code, all right? So you need to make sure that two things are correct. Here you need to have the same name as the sheet that we have in here, right? And also you need to give it permission. So once you save and run, it will ask you for permission. So you need to give this app permission in order to execute the code once the execution is completed we click on deploy new deployment so in here we select parameters and web application so in web application you are going to do two things in the description you are going to put the name as friends for example and also for the authorization you need to put it as anyone in order to copy and paste the link that I going to use in Power BI. Okay, so I have the link. So just make sure that before you get the link, you have selected access to anyone. So once it is completed, we get this URL, and this is the link that I going to use in Power BI. So we need to copy that. So create a new Power BI project, and to get the data, we click on Get Data. We select Web, and we paste the link in here okay we select connect and we get our data set in power bi so now for example if we want to add one new row to our data set so if we go down here okay so we have 236 now if we go to the google sheet and we are going to add one new row for example one two three four five six seven eight nine okay it is saved if we click on refresh we see the new row appearing in here okay and same thing if you want to delete it so select this one delete so same thing refresh so we can see that the row has been removed okay Okay, so now I'm going to save the project and give it a name. Apply. So we close this one. Yes. And now I'm going to create our dashboard. The first thing to do is to change the background. So click in here. Background. The color. More colors. And we put the following code. So we have 743A37. Okay with transparency 0% okay next we have the cards so we click 
we select the season as count distinct right so we'll name it as total seasons right and I'm going to format that so for the effects no background and the border on for the color we select the following color so we have f8 e7 d8 okay and around corners 20 same thing for the value so put it like that and it will be 25 okay same thing for the label okay now put it like this okay so copy paste that five times two three four five right Next, we have this one, put it here. All right. okay next one it will be total episodes right so we have episode as the count okay so we rename it to rename so we have total right okay next we have the average stars rating so total stars as the average okay so the name is one so average stars rating next we have the duration in minutes so we remove this one duration in minutes as the average also so average duration in or like that duration we put it minutes okay as the average all right next we have the total votes right so total votes rename uh, total votes okay and here we have the last season year so we select the year as so the last season year and it will be the maximum all right now we can modify the text select everything for the label we can put it for example 10 all right next we have the bar chart for total episodes by season so copy paste this one okay Put it like that. Convert it into bar. So on the x-axis, we are going to have the season, and on the y-axis, we are going to have the total episodes. Right, as count. 
okay so same thing we are going to modify that for the columns for this color for the grid lines we remove everything for the y-axis we remove the title and the values the color pull and same thing for the x-axis so for the values we have the same color and for the title it will be the season so season bold and in the same color now for the title we have total episodes by season okay in the center bold and the same color all right we can also add the labels so label on and it will be in the same color all right next we are going to create the ribbon chart for total votes by episodes and season so click on the chart on the x-axis we are going to have the different seasons and on the y-axis we are going to have the total votes for the legend we are going to have the episodes all right now I'm going to format that first we remove the background and the border on okay so same color in 20 next we remove the grid lines so both grid lines and for the legend we select the same color right and it will be top center with no title okay we do the same thing for the x-axis and the y-axis so for the x-axis the values same color in bold and the title it will be the season and same thing for the y-axis so the values same colors in bold and for the title it will be total votes okay the same color in bold all right so same thing for the title in here okay now for the title so it will be total votes by episode and season in the center same color and bold okay so here we have our ribbon chart just put it like that all right same thing for the transparency so ribbons for example for the layout we can select the space in here right like that and also for transparency we can increase the transparency okay for example we can put it 40 all right next we are going to import the image so same thing you can find the link in the description to download the image so click on insert image so here we have the image right and for the style we select fit all right and to create the box plot we click in here get more visuals we select box and we import this one we click on add and here we have our box plot 
So copy paste this one. Like this. All right. We click on the box. So the axis so I'm going to put the stars. The same thing for the value. Whereas for category one, I want to put the season. Okay, now I'm going to format that. We start by removing the grid lines and the tick marks. All right, same thing for the dots. I want to make them transparency, so 100%. And for the stars, it will be the average, right? So for the title, it will be, for example, stars rating by season, okay? To be in the center, same color bold and same thing for the y-axis so we don't show the title and for the values so same color and also for the x-axis so the color the same and the title it would be the season with the same color. All right. Now for the the box. So for example, we can change the colors. The uh, lower, for example, we can put black. All right. And outlines. For example, we can put them like this in blue. And also same thing for the mean, for example, we can put it in this color, for example, or black also. All right. So here we have our box plot. As you can see here, we have the different values for each season. Okay. So we have the median, the maximum, the minimum, etc. If we close everything. We get our final dashboard using friends data set. So that's it for this tutorial. I hope that you have learned new things. Thanks for watching and see you in the next tutorial.